Hello buddy, welcome back to Elden Ring. Time for us to deal with Celia Hideaway. Celia Hideaway, for those that want to see the direction. If you're just joining me, it's kind of, there's a, uh, if you come kind of along this way, draw yourself a straight line. But no, no, it's more like this way. You'll see a grave anyway along this cliff with a sorcerer guard in front of it. Directly behind that is the entrance to the cave. Don't feel like you need to stew on that too much. In any case, we're going to head on in. Um, we've already kind of stepped in here a few little bits because I was crazy enough to uh, miss the grace. We'll set off in. Uh, there'll be some invisible walls. Just poke your way through them. Should be fine. Weirdly enough, these enemies are full of magic, magic but they're not that resistant to it. So we can blast them a little bit if we need to. Quite a lot of um, branching paths in this area, so... Just try to take care as you as you're going around. The crystals do seem to like trying to make you fall off, so just be careful of that. Deal with you. But there's another one over that way. Oh yeah, we can't target it though. Look, once you've done on this bit, you're just gonna come over this way. Don't feel don't feel like it's necessary to go down there and uh, attack that. Although I believe from here we can't get. Oh, we can reach it now. Couldn't reach that before. The extended range. Doing some doing some real favours. Heh. That makes life better. Thank you. This way. You want to deal with him quick because he likes to drop his magic everywhere. And the... Prison, I believe, is down this way. If we drop off now, what if there's a shortcut to him? Can't see. I usually go down there a little bit later in the cave, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go with what I usually do. Hello, hello. This is actually the way back out. Look, if you go down. Keep going this way, keep going. Ooh. It lived. <laughs> You're the one who lived. For an extra second. I can hear something. Hmm. Okay, across we go. Give me all the budding moss. I'd rather have it and not need it. I think it's this way. Positive, it's this way. Positively sure. That's the way towards the beastie that we killed. I don't want to go that way first. There, this way. Ha ha. Denoted by the big bright blue door. Got you! Damn it. So for us, this is the most important thing in here. Is this boy home? Give me your spell. Good. So when we take that to Celia, that's going to cause her to ask us to go see her real body in a ruin that we ran past, like, 60 episodes ago. Um, so I don't expect you guys to remember the way there. Don't worry, we'll go. And uh, we'll go sort that. So ordinarily, we'd be getting harassed in here by the human centipede, but we, uh, well, we were really nice and dealt with it early, right? So now we can head on back out. Through this way. Now, if, if I remember rightly, this dungeon is home to my... And I'm going to put that on, actually, so I don't have to waste a heal. It's home to one of my least favourite boss fights. Oh, we have an extra slot. I'm not even using it. What a fool. Um, I wonder what the best one to get is. We could have more, like, just stamina. I don't feel like I want more equipped load, but I do like the Earth Tree's favour. It's hard to argue with an extra th ah, 30 health is like nothing. The, the biggest benefit, in my opinion, is the stamina bar. 
I do like the extra stamina just because it's extra actions and extra attacks and stuff. Long, longer spell volleys. So I think that's the the main selling point of the Odri's favor for me. Um, and it probably, although crazily enough, it probably does mean we can wear something heavier now. Well, not that much heavier though. <laughs> 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 uh, that's funny. Odri's favor, run. yay! More cutlet. Yeah, it's not enough. Right. So anyway, so we're back up to the top now. We don't need to go back down. So we'll go past through here. We have the crystal spear to pick up. So I need to remember to get that. I always forget the crystal spear. Um, I don't think it's even particularly good, but I have to get it. I mean, it could be a weapon we could use. I don't even know if we can use it. I can't remember what the stats are. We want to come all the way over this way. Uh, no, it's, it's not actually up that way. It's around here. There it is. Crystal Spear. Let's take a look at the stats on it. I really don't know what they are. I can't remember. There's no way I'm going to be able to use it. Nope. <laughs> 16 decks! For a caster weapon! I mean, I suppose a lot of casters will have more decks than that. Uh, I guess this kind of is a shortcut. Go down. No real need for it, but I suppose it gets us past some of the slugs. Now then, I'm expecting to die in this boss fight because it's a pain in the ass. It's three Crystallians. Um, and they also cause rot. Because, you know, this place had to be extremely fair. I just realised I don't think I've ever been up there. This is what I mean, this is why I have to check stuff. Because sometimes I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute, what's over there? Where's the way round? Hmm, <laughs> don't know. It can't be anything major important because I know we've got all the major items in here. And we've been through here like three times, no one's ever pointed that out to me. So, I can't be the only person that's missed that. Oh. That's just weird. Okay. Just can't believe I missed that. Crazy. Right, we are going to want to deal with these. Same reason as usual. Lootle will aggro on these if we don't deal with them. Luckily, they don't do much damage. To, well, at least to me. I'm assuming this is magic damage. That's probably why. I'm being really sloppy here though. That was really bad. What a waste of a, what a waste of a flask. If you guys do what I just did, wait until your dew heals you, because doing what I'm doing is wasteful. So we're gonna pop that. Um How much happy is Lootle? It's not 188, there's no way. Just checking that we've got enough in the tank. Oh, we could have upgraded you as well. We have. We do actually have a seven. Oh well. Um, we're going with what we're going in with. This is just going to have to be how it is. So this is going to be an absolute nightmare. I apologise. Um, I don't have a good cheesy method for this. I just don't know what a good cheesy method would even be. Uh, the spear one is my least favourite out of the three, so you might want to deal with that one first, but this one also, the one that I'm targeting right now causes the most rot, which is kind of why I've just not bothered switching off of it. Yes. Oh my god, really? No, let me move! If we can get onto that one now, it'll stagger, we won't be able to cast anything. In fact, it has no poise, so I can even use just my standard. I've just got to keep away from the frickin' spear one and then we're alright. Lootle's still got health, so we're actually okay. There we go, Caster's down. Which one's taking the most damage? The ring blade has. Of course it has. Lootle couldn't have done me a favour with this guy, could he? 
Alright, let's get some, some space out of your way. A nightmare. I hate it. I just hate that moveset so much. Yes! Right, you're going down, boyo. Come here. It's the first time... This, well, could be. I shouldn't count my eggs for the hatched. Could be the first time I've ever, like, one... What, first attempt killed these. Yeah, it's gonna be now. Done. We are done. It's the end of you, Mr. Ringblade. Get out of my sight. Can't help but feel like already the extra stamina is making a massive difference. Cool, that's done. Uh, yeah, we've got all the we've got all the major loot out of here, so we're fine. So we we'll go see Selen. Waypoint ruins now. This is gonna be one of those instances where we need to bother resting at the Grace. So head straight over. Uh, so waypoint ruins now. Yes. We're actually on for getting shots, which is one of my favourite spells as well. It's surprisingly strong. Wait till you see me use it on a dragon. It's kind of funny because on the original kind of playthrough, people were like, Oh my god, <laughs> what's that doing to dragons here? Just, just nothing left to dragons. The Other request. My body, my body in make... I have something. Okay, okay. Let's have a direction. We already moved on. At least that's location. My... Am... This is... We did that, there we go. I was going to say. Give me the goodies. It's that. So yeah, Weeping Peninsula now for you. That's good. Do you have any spells we want? We have you. We have you. We have you. We don't have you. We don't have you. We don't have you. I'm just going to click. Just finish the collection. Cool, because she's going to move very shortly. Uh, so next up then, her the position that she wants you to come and see her at is here, which being ruins. So to the isolated merchant's shack. In the Weeping Peninsula, we go. From here, we have north. Have north. We head north. One day, I promise, I'll learn to talk with better enunciation. I'm really trying to do my best to uh, to get better at it. Hopefully, it's improving as time goes on. I assume it is. In any case, straight down there. I don't care about this big ball of magic. A couple of might try and follow us down. But we can just quit out and reset if we really need to. They're coming. Oh, that's where Ambushot is. <laughs> Happy with that. I didn't think Ambushot was there. Why did I think Ambushot was somewhere else? I'm going to take a heart out. Now, what we need to do is wait for her to die. I don't think we can do it. Ouch. Ouch, ouch. Oh, my God. Yeah, so she's all, like, heavily panting now. Um, so, yeah, I don't think we can do it. We have to get Jeren to do it. Jeren is the guy that was hosting the um, Radon Festival. So, we want to go to the chamber outside the plaza so that we can go speak to that guy. Over this way. Lots of running around. I make no apologies. This is how we get the quest done. Hey? It's been reset already. It has. Interesting. Alright. Maybe I've left this too late. Oh well, we're about to find out. Through we go. We'll clear the castle in a bit. For now, I want to concentrate on the quests. This is going to be a misbegotten warrior. And a Crucible Knight. So don't go easy on anything in here. This is going to be an absolute nasty fight if you're not um, going hard, hard and heavy on at least something. I don't know where the Crucible Knight is. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Where is it? Where is it dropping from? There it is, the back. Your friend is going to be gone, Mr. Crucible Knight. We ain't, we ain't taking chances with you.
Looter, get him! <laughs> Good sir. What? <laughs> it's scary watching Lootle get absolutely annihilated like that. It's like, god damn. Lootle's like a boss and everything. I suppose not a boss in me, but still. I hope we get one of these in the DLC. I'd love to have a Crucible Knight as a, uh, as a summon. I think it'll happen. I'd, I'd be shocked if they didn't. Go on, Little. Attract his attention. Throw a spear. Okay, okay. In we go. Nope. Oh, I got it wrong timing. Wrong timing. My bad. Entirely. No, stop that. That was good for me. You do that again. Go on, do that again. I can get you through your block now. We're all good. I hope I haven't messed this up. Because I really don't want to miss out on Shot Spiral. Because that does gonna mean Jevin is gone. Okay. Uh, okay, so Jevin isn't there. So that means he's out and about. We have set off Selen's quest, so... Let's see what happens if we go to Round Table Hold. Because usually what should happen is, is when you trigger Jaren's quest line. Yes. We're good. Okay, so so everything's fine. We haven't missed anything. Everything is fine. Whew! <laughs> I haven't left all of it this late before, but we're good. So that means now what we want to do, we want to go back to here and we want to actually go about here-ish so we're going to come in at this from the royal moon gazing grounds we're going to head out the door i'm going to get shot spiral this episode that's very nice actually so we're going to come over here to the left a bit to the left a bit I think I've, I don't think I've taken anybody into it yet. So, we want to come up here, come up here. Um, the thing that'll tell you that you're in the right place is there's a dude that like has, wants to fire little pebbles at you. It is this building up here though. I'll put my mark in the right place, that's good. So in case you want to see it on the map. Let's just jump up here. And we're coming down here. So now we want to interact with some stuff. Poke at this. Put Selen in her in her new body. Maya, thank you. It's better still. Finally to expel my dear. Fine to expel. Then we just want to go back to Selen. Can I ride from here? I can. Let's get out of here. <clears throat> now, if we go to speak to Selen, we should be able to talk to him about the puppets. See you, dragon boy -o. We don't care about you. I think the dragon is actually called a doodler. <clears throat> Glintstone dragon, a doodler. Yeah. There's just no need to fight it. I'm sure there's people like, yeah, yeah let's fight it. Yeah, but you'll get it half health and then it flies off, so. I'm not, I'm not bothered. You don't need to spend time with that. How are you still aggroed on me? Go away. No, about your chambers, here we go. Yes. Uh, yeah, we get one of these for free. I haven't used either of them. I think this guy's the cooler guy, though. Then now... Nope. Okay, let's try resetting him. He should be ready now for his next part of his quest. Moment of truth! Nope. Why not? Why aren't you letting me progress your quest? Okay, well there is one person's quest that should 
progress, and that is Celia's. She should now be with Renala, I believe. Should have moved. I don't know why all the quests are being janky. Where, did he flee, my Where are you? Come out. Oh no, she hasn't moved yet. She's supposed to come over here. Maybe we have to speak to Jaren first at the swamp. Oh, we have to choose who to help. Aha. Oh, it's gone this far already, so we haven't even spoken to Jen. Uh, so you can either choose to challenge Selen or help Selen. Helping Selen is better for us because that'll give us... Um, we'll be able to get the armor sets from both of the sorcerers we had to go and see. We basically just have to go back to where their re respective bodies were and we get access to Shard Spiral. Or you can help Jaren. We move out, we leave, miss out on all of that stuff, but we get a um, Ancient Dragonstone. So we're going to help Selen, obviously. Ooh. Jaren, bringer of my death. My <laughs> oh, wow, she got some cool spells. I need to catch you with this. For a witch hunter, he's got spells of his own. No. Less of that, sir. Less of that. Hypocrite. Looking good. Selen, hardly a formidable uh, mage, unfortunately, as you can see. Okay, there we are. Ah, you've saved. Do you see that with the body, so that my apprentice, oh, you have your own. Do think of, of your teacher. You will all rest assured. No, my apprentice. Hmm. That. Do you that flinched when you? Not as good as the Christian Demon Souls, unfortunately. It would be great if that actually. Give you extra casting damage. Here we go. We should now have Shard Spiral. Basically the uh, Dragon Slaying spell of doom. Uh, so with Selen done, it's annoying me that Selavus is resisting my will for his quest. Let's go and have a quick double check over there. Because we've finished Selen's quest. He His stuff is all done. We fed his potion, and I've got his Amber Starlight Shard. And we've seen his puppets. Hmm. All of the things are correct. It's fine, we're gonna end the episode in a minute anyway. So if it hasn't sorted itself out when I go back now after sorting Selen out, I'll have to have a quick look around, see if anyone else has had the same problem. It's real strange. Real strange. Begging for another letter, Ha ha! Quite the key, but I'm afraid I can hardly just. Oh dear, why don't you? If you can, the soul of. Sounds good to me. And then in here we should have Dung Eater. There we are. Don't worry if you don't feel like you can afford this one right now. There's going to be plenty of Starlight shards later. And because we'll get his bell bearing, you'll be able to push it anyway. So it's going to be, not be a problem. And now when we re reset him, he should be happier. I'm interested. We already have it. Yes. <laughs> ah, finally. <laughs> Magic Scorpion Charm. So, for those of you that like high risk with additional reward, um, we could 
take off the Erdtree's favor and put this on. Take a look at my damage, though. <laughs> Your damage resistance will be non-existent at all. But even just on the even just on my tiny rapier, we're gaining ten percentish damage. Look. Um. I suppose you can't see what that is. This, this, I think it's this is like a 20 or 30% magic damage increase at the expense of damage resistance. So now, with both of these on, we can probably cause a ludicrous amount. In fact, I want to see some numbers. Let's see some numbers. Um, now then, when we talk to him next... Right, the next thing, he's going to ask us to give a potion to Rani. And I recommend not doing it. People are saying to do it and then use a Celestial Dew because that resets her. But I just don't think that makes sense. People like it. People like doing it. I'm not doing it. I don't think it makes sense. I don't think it makes sense to betray Rani and then uh, get away with it because the Celestial Dew is in the game. But I am going to go see how much damage we do as a, as a damage difference. Where are we? Where's my test bed? Deep front. Let's have a quick look gonna make this episode a little bit longer than I'd like but just to cure my curiosity Vintstone Shard is now doing 727 as opposed to obviously there's lots of percentages going off here but we'll see a big enough difference here 727 Six four nine, so it's like almost eighty damage a shot extra. It's quite a lot. We'll toy around with it. If I find that I'm just dying in one hit, then maybe not. If we can take a hit, maybe we'll keep it on. So we'll have to play around with it, especially now we have have the space. Um, so yeah, you either you either have hyper aggressive or a bit more mobile, a bit more defensive, basically. Either way, that is going to be the end of this episode. We are now ready to take on uh, Rani's questline, which we will be doing in the next episode. See you guys again soon.